How's it going, my dandelions? Today is a huge day. Besides what happened earlier to me, uh, <laughs> today's a fantastic day. Shout out to Master Gios, my friend. Uh, he actually sent me the full game. Shout out to Liam. We might be doing something with him later towards the game. But guys, the full release is here. I'm excited for this. We're going to play the first one, which is game duration 15 days, map type, castle on a small hill, combat difficulty 3. And later on, we're going to go up to harder difficulties. We're going to have less resources. We're going to have harder difficulty. We're going to have specific little areas. And then we're going to try and go for unlimited time. I think those are going to be some pretty fun ones. But let's jump right into it. I'm intrigued to see what they've done with the game since I've been playing this quite often for a long time. Um, I've been playing it for, honestly, just... An insane amount of time personally but I truly truly love the game now it looks like they've done what a lot of people requested and made it so there's multiple things on the map yeah there's a lot more on the map finally that is something massive like absolutely huge now I have to spawn here which is actually a really good spot besides the fact that there's wolves um, a lot of trees gold stone a heap ton of food over there. I don't know what to expect. Um, there's a lot of new stuff to the game and I'm really excited for it. I don't even know what that little button over there is, but let's go ahead and just jump into it. Now, I'm gonna get rid of one tree instead of like all the trees. Some random villagers pop by. I would like to look at things to see what's new. The where There's a warehouse, safe for stone and wood. There is a barn. There is a treasury, interesting. Um, we got ourselves anything new in here. Doesn't look like it. I would like to look at this. There are now stone walls and fun stuff like that. A siege workshop, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, nothing different in here. They still have the scarecrow, so hashtag scare bros in the chat forever. We're not streaming this, but we'll definitely be streaming this eventually. I just haven't been doing the greatest recently. So we're gonna go ahead and just continue with this. Now, like always, we gotta go ahead and start off by grabbing ourselves a sawmill, basically to try and get up as much wood as we can. Now, I really don't like where it's trying to make me put it. So let's try to move it out here maybe. Capture our land all the way to there. How much wood do I have? I actually have enough, thank God. I was like, if I mess that up, that's gonna be a really bad situation. Now, I don't wanna knock any trees down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all the way over there. I could have gotten a stone quarry, but I'm gonna wait a little bit to be able to get that. We have three available villagers right off the bat so i really think that focusing on getting the wood and then focusing on building up a little tiny community and everything's really going to help out for the game i love the look of the game now there's mountains there's a background effect there's like oh my god it looks it it already looks better like they did a great job not just having a flat land like it's actually really really nice i'm gonna go ahead and instantly put two people into that I'm going to grab a little house. I'm going to start a first community. Again, I don't want to get rid of like any trees, but if I have to, I will. So I'm going to put one house right there perfectly. I'm going to move our little knights down here. It looks like we are getting attacked from behind our castle, which is actually really nice because there's a wolf den literally just blocking us right down the hill. So we might have a really good start, which is going to be fantastic. I love the building of this game. If you guys have never seen this before or seen my channel before, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All the fuss down below it really helps out. Honest to God, it does. Um, we are just a little bit off of being able to get some stone, so that's what we want. Stone quarry is going to be probably one of the biggest things in this game. If you ever play this game, you're going to want to rush a stone quarry as soon as humanly possible because it is going to allow you to upgrade your buildings and buy a whole bunch of different kinds of things as well. So it's going to be very, very, very important. Now, since we don't have any food right now, our people are losing food at a rate of 50 and we don't even produce any. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way and build up a massive farm. I'm excited to see what they do with the ledges. Maybe people bring ladders and they climb up. Maybe there's some kind of siege equipment. Maybe they're just like the sheep over here and just climb the wall. You're not a goat, Mr. Sheep. You are a sheep. Now, we're going to let this slowly build up. Is there a speed up button in the game yet? No. There's still no speed up button in this dang game. I'm already kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not the only person that thinks this game is very slow. Um, later on it gets a lot faster and stuff like that, yes. But it is such a slow beginning that they need to add a speed up button to this game. Now, I don't know if a lot of people want that, 
but I genuinely think it's going to make the game a lot more enjoyable because it's going to make you feel a lot more gets accomplished sooner. I look at games like Founder's Fortune, Stonehearth, all those games have a speed up button. It's not really hard to program, I'm pretty sure. If a basic games have it, I'm surprised you don't. You have a 0 0.25 speed. What the heck is the point of that? Maybe you're trying to do some really accurate builds and you want the day to go slower. Maybe that's why you do it. Like that that makes no sense to me. That's the only thing I'm gonna trash on this game about is the fact that there is no there's no speed up button. Like there should be a speed up button. And the pathing system. They said that they were looking into adding paths. I don't see paths everywhere in here. But they did say that eventually they're going to go ahead and make it so you can do a couple things, so they're still editing the game, guys, so I guess I can't harsh on it too hard. I don't want to be a harsh critic, but I've been playing this game for quite a little while now. A lot of my communities come from this game, and uh, I, I want to say I'm pretty knowledgeable towards this game, like, just in general. I Like I said, I've been playing it a lot. I made a lot of videos on it, and I've literally done almost every challenge possible besides the new stuff towards the game. So this guy's having a technical difficulty. There you go, mate. You're going to be able to build that. No, you good? Are we not going to be able to build this? Maybe I put it the wrong way. No, okay, there we go. Just a little glitch, I guess, in the system. Nothing wrong with that. That happens. But let's go ahead and grab a hunter's lodge here. And put it right there. Because this is going to be our food, which is what we really, really need. Now, this is going to be storage for... I don't even know. Adds one more workplace and nobody works in it. There's just going to be a little bit of extra storage, which is going to be nice. Now, I would like to bump up our houses. I love the look of the homes. They always look different, and it's one of my favorite features in the game. Like, those ones look pretty accurately close to each other, but I genuinely love the look of those. Now, we're going to try and get a wall built up as soon as possible. So, I need 150 wood for that one there. And then that can't go on until we get a proper wall built up. So, do I have two people working here? I do. If I upgrade, it costs 10. I'm going to put three people in there. We have a lot of people just idling around, which is something you really don't want. So hopefully we can get that done pretty quickly. I'm going to grab two people and instantly make them go into training for gathering food. We do have, like I said, we're going to have a lot of food. This is a really good spawn. We have one, two, three, four areas of hunting for food, which is glorious. We have another one here. We're getting attacked during the day. Okay, no, it's nighttime now. Okay, I was about to be absolutely mind blown. But they actually seem to be a little bit smarter. Alright, our guys aren't the smartest because now they're going to have to fight the wolves. I'm going to pull my guys back. Because I really don't want these wolves to attack me. I want the wolves to just go ahead and uh, hopefully tear these guys apart. So we're going to chill. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. Do not get attacked by the wolves. Thank you. There we go. Not too bad. I like how right away it instantly switches to the day which is pretty cool right when everybody dies that was the thing they had before but that's something that i genuinely think is really amazing now i want to own this land but there's nothing really here to even have a reason to buy it so i don't think we're going to do that now we're pretty close to 20 stone cost 30 to upgrade it we can have up to 650 we're producing 80 food but we have 90 in total I'm going to go ahead and grab another little area here to make a little bit more food. Now, I'm really excited for the stone towers. I think they're going to be pretty sick. Um, stone tower makes it possible for archers to shoot further whilst providing additional protection. And also a ramp allowing the warriors to gain access to the wall. Interesting. Interesting. The siege workshop is something that I want to look towards as well. Because I don't really know anything about that. Now, the field. Nope. It's going to be a farm. I'm going to put the farm, I want to say, right against the wall here. That's interesting how you can, like, raise the land there. It looks like it flattened it as well. It it definitely flattened the land because if you look at the mountain here, it's actually kind of overhanging, which is kind of weird, but I'm not going to judge it. It actually is still kind of cool. I love the fact that they did it so it's not just a flat base anymore. It's actually a really nice lifted area. So we're going to grab our soldiers here and run them down to this spot. Our little gold area is also floating, which is kind of funny, but oh well. We're going to grab our soldiers and just put them out here. Now we are going to get attacked from this direction. I don't know. Oh, I don't want them to go that way. Because I'm afraid that they're going to run into the wolves. The wolves are just going to murk us, and we really don't want that to happen. Now, we got 30. 
Okay, I'm, I'm instantly going to build one of these. Like, there's no way in heck I'm not going to build one of those. I think that's going to be phenomenal. I would love to see what the tower looks like. We're also going to get an archer's tower put in. And if we buy this piece of land here, we can go ahead and use this for our military area. I think that's a pretty good idea. I'm excited for this. This is going to look cool. I hope. It already looks like it's kind of weird. The textures and stuff that they're still releasing on it clearly needs to still be revamped. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and put up the archer's area. We're just going to put a dab smack in the middle here. I want to see what this looks like when it's done. It looks really good so far. I like the fact that you put little banners on it. I would love it if you can customize your own little banner. I think that'd be pretty cool. But that's just me. So, yeah, that actually looks really nice. I like that. Now, we are going to attack from here. If we get 255 wood, we would go ahead and do that. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go and grab another sawmill here. We're going to put a sawmill right there. And this is going to allow our people to work and instantly get a, even more wood for us. Our people are pretty chill. I like this tower. I think it's a really nice tower. Like I said, if they could do something like Kingdoms and Castles and make it so you get to choose your own banner, that'd be phenomenal. But I don't know if that's a thing that they would do or even think about doing. So we're gonna grab this here for one guy there. And we're gonna wait until we get enough wood so we can put down one more house. Now having houses right away is probably a really good idea. We're gonna try and make it so our home goes out this way. There we go. So we're gonna have another house and we're gonna have one more also go that way. We're gonna kind of make this like a mid center of our area. The only downfall of it is a little bit floaty. So we're gonna kind of have some technical difficulties there. Now, I need to do Tavern Gang for my homies. Uh, if you guys don't know me, um, when I stream, I always put down taverns because everyone's like Tavern Gang. So that's something we're definitely gonna be doing. Now, a safe place to start to kind of building for but lowers the happiness, interesting. What does that look like? Looks really cool. But here we go. We're going to get Tavern Gang set up. I like having it this way. So the stairs kind of pop out. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. It's going to knock down quite a few things. But we're getting a main center of our area. Which is going to be really nice. I would like to see them do something with uh, the wells. I don't know if there's anything to do with the wells in the game. But say they did. Um, so the bad guys shoot fire and they light stuff on fire. That'd be pretty cool. And like I said though, I don't know if that could be actually a thing already. I have no idea if it is or isn't. I'm gonna bump that up. Bump both of these up. Bump that up. Oh, we're out of stone. Okay, we're out of stone. Now, they changed that because it was 15 before to bump it up. And then it was seven to finally max it out. And so they changed it, which makes sense. It now costs 20 to fully max it out, which honestly makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna go ahead and put both of these guys on here. We're gonna go into decorations. We're gonna try and make this look a little bit fancy because you do need uh, happiness on your blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put one also right there. I'm gonna grab it and just straighten it up. Put it right there. Grab this one, straighten it up as well. Put it right there. And get ourselves a little tiny area just for the kingdom. Just like that. like that now we could go like this yeah let's go like that and then if it lets us we'll put one here and one there perfect though so now we have a little archway leading into the castle now we're going to have Scarebros protecting it because Scarebro, hashtag Scarebro for the win. We even have our own little Scarebro emojis if you guys want to unlock those. You can go ahead and do that by hitting the join button down below which will really help me out. So we're going to go ahead and grab a few of those. Now what are these? A building needs a worker. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know they did that. You're under attack. Yep, I know we're under attack. We're probably going to lose this one guys. Uh, we're probably going to get absolutely destroyed. Our guys are pretty strong, it seems. They might have buffed them up, because we're actually doing phenomenal. The tanks actually feel like they're proper tanks. Do they level up at all? They have levels? What? What? That is phenomenal. 225 HP to 250 level 2. Oh my god, this game just got so much better. Our people have levels. 
That is such a small thing, but such a thing that I love. Oh my god, being a guy that played RuneScape for like my entire life so far, um, leveling up is just something that you always did. So having levels in this game, 10 out of 10. I can gladly accept the fact that there's no speed up button. I'm completely content with that. That is phenomenal. I will, I will be happy boy forever now. I can't believe there, I can't believe that's a thing. That's freaking amazing. You, mate, you need to go work here because we are running out of food. Now, I have two people working here. I think so. Now, do hunters, do these guys a lot? No, that's okay. I didn't think so, but that'd be cool if they did and you get more yield from them. I'm gonna grab you and put you up here. You, my guy, are gonna become a farmer instead of that because we need to get food, please. I'm going to upgrade this stone little shack here. Now, I don't know if it actually changed looks. If it did, that would have been cool. I'm gonna grab you, mister. I'm gonna grab you because you're not going to do what you're doing. You can keep training for it, but I'm gonna let you know right now. You are going to become a role model citizen. If I don't mess up and... There we go. If I didn't screw it up. Voila! Perfecto! Gonna get a little town built in here. If I put this one here, that should still get the bonus. Yes! Yes! This is gonna be awesome. Our little town's gonna look so good! It's gonna look phenomenal. Now, one thing I'm definitely gonna have to start building is walls because we're gonna get attacked now. So we're gonna go ahead and put a wall here. And with that wall, we're gonna put a little tower. So we're gonna get a little bit more safer here. If I get 300 wood, I can go ahead and do that. Now I would like for another person to possibly come work here. Um, Sign worker, dismiss worker. We don't have any of that for it. So we have not enough builders to build that. That's fine. And we don't have a person to work that. We have wool and we have hide. So this should become a market for hide. But maybe we have to wait till they're done building. That might be what's going on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and buff this up all the way because that's going to give us increased people. And our happiness is pretty high because we have the tavern. Like I said, hashtag tavern gang for the win. Um, we are now able to get a little gate in here as well, which is going to be awesome. And then, can I grab somebody? I can, perfect. And get them to go and do that. That's going to provide us sunstone, which we don't have really any sunstone at all. But having them do that, it's going to be really big. So income that much, maintenance is that much, limited of a specific amount. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I'm not really going to complain. We need 300 wood for that. I'm going to grab my three archers here. And I really don't want these guys to die because they're my only three and there's levels in this game, like I said, which is phenomenal. I'm gonna grab these guys. Make sure I put them in the right spot right there. And then I'm gonna grab you boys and put you out here on the ledge here. Now, I feel like that's gonna be quite nice. So up next, we're gonna grab this little archer dude here. Again, I feel like archers are absolutely busted in this game. So if you guys ever, ever, ever try this game, get yourself some archers. They can single-handedly carry your entire game. Um, I don't know if magic is still a thing in this, where in the beta there was the little um, like fire dudes that you could have, like the fire archers, which were really sick. So I'm intrigued to see how that plays a role to it. I wonder if you kill the wolves then do you get any rewards like could you get special gear for specific people i think that'd be really cool i don't think that's a thing that they have in this game but i genuinely think that'd be something phenomenal to uh think about which again is stuff that i could go ahead and just message the developers and be like hey i have a cool idea i don't know if you're intrigued by it but you know blah blah blah. you could do this and then they'd be like oh you know what actually pretty cool idea and i'd be like i know i thought of it myself but there we go we're gonna go ahead and do that we now have four archers about five people, I think. Two, four, five. Yep. And nobody's died yet, which is phenomenal. I can't believe that. Normally, I just get got instantly. But we're on day three out of 15, which is amazing. But guys, this is B-Castle, the full release. I'm super excited to see what happens when things go according to plan. Hopefully, we complete this one and we don't get got right away. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. And I will see you in the next one. We're going to be doing daily uploads of Be Castled, including with some streams. So other than that, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you later. Peace.